we got this in the overhead position. I can put this at any elevation I want. I'm actually pretty comfortable working just a little bit over the top of my head that I can see the best that way. Got my ventilation system in the back and that helps, well, not only for safety, keeping the fumes down, but it also helps me to see better. When that smoke builds up underneath there, that uh, makes it a little difficult to see where I'm going. I like to hold my electrode straight up and down, maybe just a little lean back in the direction, uh, away from the direction I'm traveling, kind of a drag angle and that pushes that slag back behind me, but uh, pretty much straight up and down. I'm going to start on the runoff tab at the end here, and uh, one electrode should get me right about to the middle of the plate. I'd rather have my restart in the middle if at all possible because my coupons come out of this area. If my restart's good, it shouldn't matter, but you know, let's give ourselves every chance to pass this test. Um, one electrode should get me right about to the middle. I'm gonna move side to side as I weld. A little hesitation on each side, break down that edge, and um, we'll see how this goes. Also, one thing I'm doing here, you might notice I'm gonna hold on to this, brace myself, and um, try to hold my arm tight into my body. I don't wanna be stretched all out like this. I wanna kinda of be in tight. Uh, less weight I'm holding up there, the, the better it's gonna be. I have a nice light electrode holder here. That should help. Okay, watch your eyes. All right, well, I'm going to chip the slag off from under there and uh, we'll see what this thing looks like. It's relatively flat across the face, that's what I'm looking for. I don't want a convex bead because my next pass, I don't want to trap slag up in that uh, crevice back there. So my restart, I'm going to touch on that crater, just lightly touch, long arc a little, come right back into the crater. Second rod should take me all the way out to the end. So this is basically a stringer pass, but I'm using just a little bit of a weave. It's just a side to side motion, maybe a half of the electrode diameter, and there's a distinct hesitation on each side. I want to make a complete stop on each side and hesitate, because I want those sides to fill out. I don't want to hump in the middle, I want it flat across the face. Okay, my first pass is in. It's about an eighth of an inch thick. It's a three eighth plate, so I gotta put two more layers on there. My next layer is gonna take two passes. I'm gonna put two stringer beads. No weave at all, no movement side to side at all. It's a straightforward stringer. I should be able to go from one end of this plate to the other without stopping. I'd prefer to do that. I don't, I'd, restarts are tough up in the overhead position. If I can limit that, uh, it makes my test come out a lot nicer. So I'm gonna take one side, which is I'm gonna take my right side here as I'm looking at this piece and I'm going to weld a bead down that side and I'm going to try and save a little bit of that machined edge. I'm uh, a little bit further than a little bit south of 45 years old so I don't see as good as I used to but what does help is to leave that edge so when I go to put my cap pass on what I'm trying to do is set myself up for the cap pass. So uh, when I put this fill pass, this fill layer in, this uh, two layers I'm putting or two stringers I'm putting in now, when I'm done this should be just a little bit under flush with a little bit of an edge there for me to follow on my cap pass. So I'm kind of setting myself up for my next layer.
we're going to chip the slag off. It should come off pretty easy because it's not trapped on both sides, so it should pretty much fall off of there. You know, some, some, some testing facilities allow you to use a grinder, but some don't. So I prefer to train people not to use a grinder. If you're allowed to use a grinder and you need to use one, fine, but grinders make a mess, they're dangerous. Uh, uh, if you lay the beads in there right, there should be no re reason to use a grinder on this particular test. Left a little bit of that edge. Got a little crevice on this other side to fill up now. So my next bait bead is going to come on this other side and fill this up almost flush. Okay, this time I'm going to be running this side. So I'm going to stand on, uh, on, the, on the right side of the plate now so I can look up here and observe uh, that side of the puddle. Make sure I'm tying in real good. I left a nice opening so my uh, electrode will go right up into that crevice. falls off real nice. And now my fill layer is done. So I have the root pass, the fill layer done. Now my next final layer is my cap pass. And I'm going to put three stringer beads on for the cap pass. To learn more about our welding training programs, visit our website at lincolnelectric.com. <laughs>